In this video, we're going to review all the videos published in April 2019, Captain America, Damage Pop-Ups, Level System, and more. Let's begin! So April had a lot of awesome videos and interesting systems, starting with one of the coolest elements which was making some damage pop-ups. So we have a player character shooting at some zombies, when they get hit, we have damage being calculated and shown as a nice pop-up. The pop-up moves up and away and vanishes after some time. It is a nicely polished effect with changing scale, movement, alpha and special changes for critical hits. The effect code is nicely set up to make it easy to plug into any game and easily use. Then one of the last videos of the month, which was making Captain America and his shield. This is a really cool character video where we have Captain America moving and rolling around and obviously throwing his shield. The shield has logic and physics, allowing it to bounce off walls and target multiple enemies. Then the captain can also press the same button to both throw and recall the shield. It is a great video to understand the logic behind making a brand new mechanic and how to correctly add it to pre-existing code. Another great and in-depth video was the one covering a level system. This is the most comprehensive video I've done on a single topic, so if you're making any sort of game that needs levels, give it a watch. It covers the creation of a complete level system with different amounts of experience per level, events on level up, and easy tests for equipment level gating. It also covers how to separate logic from visuals in order to have a nice animated moving experience bar. The final system has buttons to test adding experience and seeing the player level up so he can equip better helmets. Then a video covering the release of Unity 2019.1 and the features that come with it. The pace at which Unity keeps adding and improving features is quite great and it's always nice to see new features coming out of preview like for example the shader graph. Updates like these definitely make me happy to keep working on Unity for a long time to come. Related to that there was a video explaining Unity Dots, what it is, how it works and what are the benefits. Dots is composed of the Entity Component System, Job System and Burst Compiler. It will be the main way to work in Unity in the future, so it's very important to fully understand it. I'm currently doing research, so I can do some simple ECS tutorials, so stay tuned next month. Then a nice beginner tutorial covering how to do a simple jump. This is great if you're just getting started or if you've never done a platformer before. It involves working with Unity Physics in order to do the jump and also test for the ground. Then we covered making a scene manager. This is a great simple clean class that helps you with level loading. It's very simple to use and has a proper loading screen instead of having a static image. There was a video on one of the classes from the utilities, the function timer. Essentially it shows you how to trigger an action after some time. This is incredibly useful for quickly testing things. The whole video goes through the creation of the class and in the end we end up with something extremely similar to the actual class from the utilities. Also a video showing how to use custom fonts with Text Mesh Pro. So if you have a game with unique characters and would like to use a special font with some nice effects, this is how you do it. You create a font asset, then extract the atlas so you can modify it in any image program. Then you can use it for writing text just like any normal font. So this is great for special names or something like special numbers. There were four quick tips videos. First how to use game object icons. This is very useful, especially if you use lots of empty game objects for designing your levels. You can view icons in the editor and also in-game when you enable gizmos. Then the ability to add two inspectors at once. This is quite useful when you want to see the inner workings of multiple objects at once. You can also set one inspector to normal and one to debug view in order to view both states at the same time. Another quick tip on how to copy-paste component values. So you can test out your game and while in the middle of the game, you can modify all the values until you find the right ones. Then instead of having to memorize them or take a screenshot, you can just copy and paste the component values. And finally, a tip regarding the issues with dividing two ints. This is one of those simple but essential things to know about data types. If you divide 3 by 10, you don't get 0.3 as you would expect, but rather just 0. You need to be aware of the data types you're using and the limitations they have. And lastly, there was a simple video just letting you know that if you enjoyed these videos, you can support the channel and also play great games by getting the game bundle from the website. 
Battle Royale Tycoon is also available on Steam, and if you first grab the game bundle from the website, you can get an extra discount on it. The games are all unique and offer something different, so check out that video to see what interesting systems each of them contains. I've also covered a bunch of those systems on the channel, so you can play the games to see the final effect in action, and then watch the videos to see how they work. So that was it for the month of April 2019. I hope you found the videos helpful and learned something along the way. Post any questions you have in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Alright, see you next time.